Hello YouTube and welcome to Turmoil in the Toy Box. I'm your host Aaron Hauser and today we'll be doing a review on the McFarlane figure 2 pack from Bram Stoker's Dracula. This is the 1992 film that was directed by Francis Ford Coppola and this pack features two of the different versions of Dracula. The bat form as well as the werewolf version. So we'll start off here with the werewolf version. He has a uh, very limited articulation. There's some in the shoulders, in the uh, the wrists, in the legs, at the uh, right above the knee, and then uh, some on this side. His head doesn't really move on this one as much, but that's okay. Um, these figures are definitely meant to be display pieces. They really have very limited articulation and the bases that they come on not only complement the figures very nicely but they serve to keep the figure standing because uh, most of these would have a hard time uh, without it so give you kind of a closer look here some of the definition very cool sculpt wise it looks exactly like the uh, the werewolf version from the film I actually went ahead and watched the movie uh, last night before I received this in the mail just to get kind of a refresher from the film but they did a they did a pretty dead-on job of uh, capturing the look of this um, the werewolf form that he has in the film so uh, the base itself here we'll give you kind of a look at that is the sort of uh, garden look to it and his hand just kind of leans on this uh, this bush shrub thing that comes with it and that kind of helps keep him um, standing up a bit better overall it's a pretty solid figure it like I said it needs the stand to kind of keep itself um, from toppling over and the only real problem I had with it was uh, these nails on this figure are actually very fragile looking and they look like you could snap them off quite easily if for some reason this thing took a dive so keep that in mind um, both of these figures attach to the bases uh, via these little metal pins in uh, their feet and I'll show you that with the bat version here in a second but um, it, it definitely helps to kind of stabilize them a bit better so that's the werewolf version for you here is my personal favorite which is from uh, near the end of the film and this is Dracula in his bat form. He he comes with the crate that had uh, some of the dirt and earth from uh, his homeland in it. And it was being taken to, I want to say, Carfax Abbey or something like that in the film. And they ended up catching him there uh, before he could... Uh, take off back to um, Transylvania so give you kind of a closer look here the definition is really really nice on this one it doesn't look a whole lot like Gary Oldman but um, you know that's a little hard to convey with uh, the makeup and everything on him so it is what it is but it does a good job so he has articulation right above the uh, thigh here, uh, rotates back and forth a little. There's nothing at the ankles, um, no rotation at the waist. The head, it looks like it's supposed to pivot, but it's very tight, so I don't want to mess with that at all. Um, give you kind of a spin around here. This is such a grotesque looking figure, but it's so fucking awesome. This is definitely one of my favorite film versions of... Dracula though and I always thought uh, Gary Oldman did a fantastic job uh, keeping keeping the character true to the version from the book um, he has articulation right past the uh, the shoulder there but as with most of these uh, McFarlane movie maniacs figures it's it's supposed to be posed in one position and one position only to look the best um, but yeah, so, as I was saying, each of the figures has this sort of metal pin 
that pops into the top of their display bases and he just goes like that and it actually does a fairly good job holding him in there here we'll tip this up a little but he's not wobbly at all so you won't have to worry about him just keeling forward on you but give you kind of a closer look at the base here Very cool, it's got his kind of insignia on it. And the bottom is just plastic. It, it's hollow, it's very light, but it also is sturdy enough to keep the figure positioned nicely, which is cool. So yeah, that is the McFarlane Dracula 2-pack for you. It's a little harder to find these days. Um, I ended up getting lucky and getting this one off eBay for 35 bucks, which was nice. Um, but the majority of the time I've seen this go for around, oh, anywhere from like 40 to 70 bucks. Um, a couple different places I've seen it go as high as 150 bucks, which personally I think is kind of ridiculous. I know you can find this for a lot cheaper if you, if you hunt for a while, but this is definitely one of my favorite box sets from, uh, the Movie Maniacs line, and I think this is... Not only is this one of my favorite um, horror films from the 90s, but the sculpt of each of these is very well done. And uh, if you're a big fan of uh, creature effects and uh, animatronic work and just Hollywood makeup effects in general, these are very cool pieces to have for display. And, you know, they're good pieces like this are very hard to find these days, so... Um, if you're a big fan of uh, movie monsters like I am, this is definitely worth the find. Uh, if you can find it for a round, oh, I probably wouldn't pay more than 50 bucks for the two of these. But at any rate, it's it's definitely worth it. Um, worth taking a look at if you get the chance. So that about wraps it up. If you have any questions, just uh, leave them in the comments and uh, check out some of my other reviews. Thanks for watching.